Hey everybody, you can create a button that can replace this file reference pretty quickly. So let me press this button right here. And right now it's referencing this file, but I want it to reference this file, which is a little bit longer in length. So I'm just going to press this button and it replaces it. And if I wanted to go back to the previous one, I can replace it. Now without this button, you might know that this is a hassle to do because you have to like delete the file and then you have to point the, the broken link to something else and then you have to get that file we just deleted. It's a little bit annoying, but you can create this rule, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. And it doesn't take too long actually. And um, let's get started. Actually, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, I have uh, a, a bunch of YouTube videos on my YouTube channel that just goes over iLogic videos if you're interested in this topic. Uh, so yeah, feel free to check out the other videos I made. So let's start off by defining this, this document as old doc as document equal to this doc document. We are going to define the referenced files inside this document as um, old file descriptors as um, I think this is the class enumerators. This is equal to old doc file file descript uh, reference file descriptors. Did I spell this out? Yeah, probably didn't. Oh, it doesn't have an S. There we go. So that's how to type it correctly. Now, if this document doesn't have any reference files, then um, we want to exit out of this rule because that defeats the purpose of this rule. So let's type this if and then statement. So if o file descriptors count is equal to zero, then let's exit this sub. All right. Now let's create that dialog box to make it easier for our user to select the file. So we are going to define this as o file, uh, o, we can call it o dialog as file dialog. We are going to initiate this by typing vb application create file dialog and we're just going to put our dialog right here. And we can give this dialog like a, a, a little message up in the top for our user to see. So we can call this, um, what is it called? dialog title is equal to replacing the uh, replacing file reference let's just call it this and then we can also what else can we do here we can uh, um, make it quicker for our user to go to the right folder by typing initial directory uh, and we can set this equal to the same document uh, the same directory as this document by setting this equal to this doc path and now we want to show this dialog by typing show open and we want to grab the file that the user selects so that we can replace it and you know we can do some things to that file so let's define this as selected file as string is equal to old dialog um, so no it's file name yeah it's file name if the user selects a file name that uh, is nothing then we want to exit out of it right like if the user doesn't want to select the file then uh, it's going to cause an error if you continue the rule so if selected file is nothing then let's exit the sub exit sub but if it is something then we want to replace, uh, replace that document so we are going to grab the reference file well let's let, let's define it so o dim o file as file descriptor, I believe that's what it is. That's equal to old file descriptors item one. Hmm. Let's see where, where, where I went wrong. File descriptor. Mm, oh, I made a typo. There we go. Now that we have that reference file, so we what we did right there was we grabbed this one, but now we want to replace it. So old file replace reference and we want to replace it with the selected file did I type this the same let's see if I typed it the same yep okay I typed it the same and then we want to update this document when it's done running uh, which is this button all right so let's run this rule and see if it works so yeah so we have that title and then it's the same directory of this file and now, so we have this one selected, I want to select this one, and it switched it out. So if I rerun this, it should go back to the shorter version. There you go. 
So I'm going to paste, uh, copy and paste this rule into the description down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, consider subscribing and share this video, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you guys later.